to my health! And death to the others! Things are about to get dicey! It's blocked. On all Manawi, do you need something? I'm asleep. Desarde, I'd like to know more about my family. Could you accompany? All right, Vasco. Let's go see Lady Lorene Marange. It's blocked. Good day, Lady Morange. Do you remember me? Of course. Sir de Sardé, isn't it? I hope that you and your cousin have grown to like it here. But I have little reason to believe you have paid me a visit to exchange civilities. Can I be of service? We would like to have some information regarding an important family, the Darcys. Well, I could tell you many things about them, but I suppose that you want to know something in particular? Are there any members of this family on the island? Indeed, Bastian Darcy, the son of the family, has been in New Serene for some time. Last I heard about it, he was doing business. But that doesn't help in knowing where he is. The Darcy's first attempt at establishing themselves on this island wasn't very fruitful. But I seem to recall that since then, the son has found a competent associate who's been working here for a long time. Perfect. Could you tell us where to find her? Of course. Ask for a Madame Clerk near the warehouses on the port. That's where she normally is. I hope the Darcy's are not in trouble. Don't worry, Madam. Their name was simply mentioned in some business discussions. We are thinking about becoming associates. We would like to know more about them to form an opinion. If you ask me, you should forget this idea, Your Excellency. Their son is a poor business partner. Why do you say that? I do not mean to speak ill of him. Perhaps it would be better for you to form your own opinion. Well, thank you for your help, madam. Can I help you with any other matter? My lady, I have to go. Goodbye. Come closer, good people. Liqueur and wine from the continent. Tear for D alcohol. Sire, I am pleased to welcome you to the best wine and spirit shop in Tear for D. If you're looking for something to accompany a fine meal, or for a gift for someone, 
You've come to the right place. Thank you, but I'm not here for that. I'm conducting an investigation. Some merchants are being extorted by members of the Guard. Uh, are you sure? It's probably just a nasty rumor. Someone must have misinformed you. Come now. I'm the Legate of the Congregation. If Guards threaten you, I could arrange protection for you. Threats? No. I assure you. I was told a merchant had been found dead. Really? Oh, I didn't know. No one told me about that. What was his name? Come on, don't take me for a fool. You know very well who I'm talking about. I don't? Really? I don't. So, what sort of wine would you like to pair your food with? You need something strong when eating game? You're obviously terrified. Don't you think it's better to tell me everything? Listen, I've no desire to get into trouble. Please leave me. But if you don't help me, you will never be rid of these guards. I told you, I don't know what you're talking about. The law of silence is at work. Nobody saw anything, nobody knows anything. Are you here to do business? Are you Madam Clerk? We would like to meet with your associate, Mr. Darcy. Bastion? I don't know where he is. I can't say that he often graces us with his presence. You don't have the slightest idea where he is? I am not his caretaker, you know. You don't seem to hold him in high regard. Listen, my relationship with my associate is no one else's concern. And if you didn't come to do business, well... I've got a hunch that your associate has brought you more problems than benefits. What would you say if I offered you some gold to compensate for your losses? Hmm. I see that you understand the struggles of a simple merchant. He was supposed to go to Hikmet to deal with one of our clients, but I didn't receive any news from him after his departure. And given his tendency to get himself into impossible situations, I didn't try to get any. Who is this client? His name is Ferrat. You'll find him in the Alchemist District. Uh, I'll write this down. You think something may have happened to him there? His mission wasn't very complicated. He had to pay for a valuable shipment and take charge of it. But with Bastion, anything is possible. Thank you, madam.
poison on my face. And let's go! on my blade. Then let's go! Ward off this fight! <laughs> 
What's your destination, my lord? Just into town. I am an emissary of the congregation and I'm here to discuss matters with your governor. Why the checkpoint? We've got orders to verify all comings and goings. The roads are becoming dangerous. Do you have anything particular to report? Nothing out of the ordinary. Well then, good travels, my lord. Greetings. Halt! Your names, titles, and business at hand. Sir de Sardé, emissary of the Congregation of Merchants on Tia Fredi. I have come to present my regards to your governor. Your papers seem to be in order. Welcome to Hikmet, Your Excellency. Welcome. I am honored to receive such a prestigious guest. You will not regret it. My wares are the best in all Hikmet, and always in the vanguard of progress. Where do your wares come from? Most come straight from the continent. That's still where the most refined objects come from, isn't it? But others are also crafted in Hikmet, of course. We have some great workshops here. Stay here if you want to preserve your image with the Alliance. My mere presence by your side would be perceived as an insult. What can I do for you, my child? What was your role at my uncle's court? Were you already an ambassador? No, but I was part of the embassy. 
I had only just started my career as a diplomat back then. Teleme was hoping to convert the congregation, and they had sent me to spread the word. I tried to teach you some of the basics because you had a predisposition for magic, but you were so young. You preferred to run around the halls with a wooden sword in hand chasing your cousin. I'll see you later, Father. Take care, my child. Your Excellence, it is an honor to meet you. Allow me to present my sincerest regards in the name of the Congregation of Merchants. And allow me to wish you and your cousin a warm welcome to the island, in the hopes that this visit will help prolong the profitable relations between our two nations. Likewise. Nevertheless, another question brings me. The Malachor. The Prince d'Orsay hopes that these new shores will bring us new possibilities. Even a remedy. It is an area that concerns us greatly, but be assured we are studying it acutely. Our doctors and alchemists are particularly interested in the flora of the isle. It's extremely varied and different from our own. In fact, we have sent a group of explorers into a very promising sector. Alas, we've had no news from them for quite some time now. We are hoping that nothing has happened. We would have sent a patrol to investigate, but we cruelly lack the means to do so. The natives have proven aggressive, even hostile to our studies, and have attacked us regularly. We are obligated to maintain all of our able-bodied men here in order to protect the city, but we would be happy to share with you the results of our research if... Your Excellency. This insolent interruption is untimely and unwelcome. I deeply regret, Excellency, but one of our frontier posts has just suffered a brutal attack. Report then and be precise. The natives attacked us by surprise. Our men were massacred. Our frontier post is lost. One more act of barbary. Dismissed, soldier. Where was I? Yes. We would be most pleased to share our discoveries with our allies if your cousin would send us a party to help us find our lost expedition. I could show you to which region they were sent. I thank you for the information and will let him know. If you are of a mind to accord me another request, I would be truly grateful. I'm listening. As you have not failed to observe, our troops as well as our caravans have been suffering incessant attacks. The merchants, including your own, are raided, often killed, and certain goods have become scarce. Captain Rainhild, who commands our outpost in the plains, has communicated his incapacity to protect them, considering that certain of your own fellow countrymen are involved. You would like me to lend a hand? I will see what I can do, Your Excellency. Would you like to speak with me about any other subjects? Could you tell me a little about your city? Hikmet is the oldest city on the island. We began construction of its first buildings 15 years ago, shortly after the discovery of the island. A magnificent city, where the great minds of the time were united in a common goal. Here you could find the best doctors, the greatest engineers, and the most eminent savants. In everyone's eyes, this island has great promise. And Hikmet is the city that allows us to make good on that promise. And what of this conflict with Teleme on Tirfredi? 
Officially, we are at war. But we have never waged war openly here. Of course, we did not rejoice when they set up camp on the Isle, and we expected the worst. But it seems that their only concern is to convert the natives into believing their ridiculous teachings. They represent no true danger to us. At least, not for the time being. And to be frank, we have plenty of other concerns that demand our attention. I have to go. Look forward to seeing you again. Farewell, my lord. If you come to do business, you should go upstairs. I am but a poor underling. Hello, sir. Is this the house of the man called Farad? It is I. What can I do for you? We're searching for Mr. Darcy. He was supposed to come here to do business. Yes. Yes, he did come here, but I don't know where he is. <sighs> to be honest, our exchange did not exactly go as planned. And if you are his associate, or a member of his family, know that you owe me a large sum of money. How so? Well, this Darcy fellow came here to take the shipment, and he was supposed to deliver me a promissory note. Which never arrived, I imagine. How could you let him leave with your merchandise without payment? Well, he's the son of a very well-known family. I did not deem it necessary to try and obtain more guarantees. What if something happened to him? Nothing happened. At least I don't think so. Why should that concern me? I'm not his brother. He owes me money, and I do not have the slightest idea of where he might be. I suspect that you're not telling us everything. Oh, come on. If you have not come to repay his debt, leave me alone so I can work in peace. Greetings. If you have come to do business, head upstairs, if there's any business left to do. Why do you say that? They haven't been paying me, and I've had to work with cheap ingredients for weeks. What do you do here, exactly? I create and prepare complex potions. Not simple health potions, but far more subtle things. And if I'm not mistaken, things are not going the way you would want them to. The boss has always been difficult, but ever since he got ripped off, it has been a living hell. I work using leftovers thrown away by all the other alchemists, while listening to him screaming at me and everyone else all day. This is no way to live. Have you heard of a man called Bastian Darcy? <sighs> it would be difficult not to. His name is the only thing my boss talks about. Apparently, he did not pay for one of our shipments and still left with the goods. And now my boss makes me work twice as much to compensate for his losses. With ingredients I wouldn't even feed to a pig. And what did your boss do? Well, he spent every waking hour cursing his name. That's how I learned about it. We'll leave you to your work. <sighs> how kind of you.
you again. I already told you that I do not know where the man you're searching for is. You may not know where he is, but you did everything you could to find him, didn't you? What do you mean? Does this document ring a bell? You hired some debt collectors to find Mr. Darcy. How dare you rummage through my belongings? You could have taken legal action and retrieved what you were owed, but you sent some killers instead. I doubt the governor would approve. Do you want us to tell him about it? No. But please, understand me. The Darcy family is on the continent. It would take months for them to reply to my complaint. What other solution was there? My shop will not survive this. Tell us who these debt collectors are and we'll take care of it. They loiter in an alleyway of ill repute, not far from here, in the science district. That's what I feared. Probably a bunch of cutthroats. If Bastion survives... If he survives, remind him of what he owes me. Everything, I swear. This is nothing but a horrible misunderstanding. My family is very rich. They will give you everything you want. Please. Hey, you! Leave this man alone! What do you want? No one asked you for your opinion, so get lost. Maybe he's friends with the weakling. Maybe. In any case, it seems like he wants to share his fate. You think I'm afraid? I fought uglier people than you. Vasco, let me try to take care of this. How much money are we talking about? You're here to collect a debt, right? Between what he owes our client and our commission, it's a hefty sum. But if you want to pay in his stead, my lord, please do. I don't think you realize who you are dealing with, so let me introduce myself. My name is De Sardé. I am the legate of the congregation, and I am here to save the life of one of our citizens. If you do not deliver him to me immediately, I will have no choice but to inform the governor. And you'll end up rotting in jail in no time. Ha <laughs> what a bunch of jokers. I haven't heard that one before. Yeah. Should we show them that we're not here to joke around? Bit of poison on my blade. Then let's go! <laughs> if you want to cast more spells. Ah! You're running out of energy. Drink a potion. Thank you for your intervention. I thought these brutes would kill me. Don't mention it. It's only natural. But how did you end up in such a situation? Oh, I'm certain someone like you, who belongs to high society, will understand. There is a game table here that is attended by the best of the aristocracy. I lost the money I owed to that merchant while playing there. And, since I got out with a few other debts, I had to leave the merchandise as repayment as well. But that's a mere trifle that my father would have paid for without thinking twice. I never would have thought that someone would send these types of brutes after me. What a lack of tact. In any case, I am extremely grateful to you. To whom do I have the honor of speaking? My name is... Captain Vasco. Nought and Sea Given. It was a pleasure, sir. Thank you, Desardé. My pleasure. But why didn't you tell him who you were? 
But I did tell him. I was stupid. I resented everyone, and you even more, for the life I didn't get to live. You had it all, everything I thought I was entitled to. But after seeing Bastion, I realized that in the end, I was exactly who I wanted to be. A naught, and a proud one at that. I'm glad to hear it. No more regrets? No more regrets. And I certainly don't regret not being called Leandra Darcy. <laughs> Hello, Captain. Your Excellency, what can I do for you? Governor Burren has asked me to help you fight against the caravan attacks. Could you tell me precisely what's going on? For weeks we have been harassed by the savages. They're waiting for groups of soldiers or caravans to be out of sight of the outpost and attack with incredible violence. They don't just steal goods or equipment. They kill without mercy. Only one man survived their last attack. He's here in a sorry state. Do you think he could answer a few questions? Yes, but take it easy on him. I'll make sure I do, Captain. Hello there. My name is Desarde. I'm the legate of the congregation. I was informed that your caravan was looted and that you were the sole survivor of the attack. It's true, Your Excellency. It was awful. All those deaths. The violence. We followed the recommended precautions to the letter, but it was useless. How did the attack happen? We traveled all day. We were exhausted, and night was approaching. We knew we were not very far from the outpost, but we couldn't go any further. So we camped away from the road, trying to stay out of sight. Alas, it was in vain. That's when they struck, in the middle of the night. Were there several attackers? I counted five, maybe six. But others were hiding in the woods. I'm sure of it. If they only had their usual stone weapons, we may have hoped to escape them, but their weapons were inflamed. I have never been so scared in my life. What were you transporting? Mostly food, but also herbs and other ingredients for scientists. Did the attackers take it? Everything was a blur. I don't know if they intended to steal or destroy it. Unfortunately, my companions died while trying to protect our cargo. 
Are you saying that the looters started by attacking your cargo? Yes, Your Excellency. Maybe more of us would have survived if we'd all fled. You mentioned recommended precautions. Yes. Since attacks occur often, we were given a number of precautions to avoid them. Do not travel at certain times. Do not camp near the road. Do not light any fires. All of it was useless. It would have been better to recruit guards to escort us. Hmm. Based on what you're saying, the attacks were very targeted. They must have a camp near the outpost to monitor the road. But what is their goal? Why attack all the caravans along this route? They must want to cut off the supply lines to Hikmet. We'll go to the scene of the attack. I might find something there to help track these rebels. caravan was some distance from the road when it was attacked. Here we are. Stay alert. They must have died protecting their goods. How sad. These wounds appear to be caused by stone blades. The kind of weapons that islanders use. The crates are empty. Their entire contents have been destroyed. These goods were not meant to reach their destination. The food has been destroyed. They clearly don't need it which means that their camp should be close by. They acted quickly, methodically, and then left. But where are the bodies? Let's look around. Get 
Why was this man's body arranged like that? There's something in his pocket. Maybe a man can protect me in this battle! He was in the caravan, but whoever attacked him decided to drag him here and feed him to the wild beasts. A classic method to inspire terror in the hearts of enemies. Maybe I'm 
Close to the target. Shadow and gulf our enemies. This obstacle was deliberately placed here. I think we're on the right track. Their camp must be nearby. We must find a way to pass. Finally, here's the camp of the rebel natives. Let's be diplomatic and talk to them, my child. Violence should only be used as a last resort. Hello. Don't worry. I come in peace. I only wish to speak to your leader. I am the leader of this camp, Renaixe. And who might you be? My name is the Sade. I'm the legate of the merchant congregation. The congregation? Are those the Lugayet Blau? The yellow eyes? It's possible, yes. We live in the city south of the island. That's right. We hold no grudge against your people. Talk. I'm listening. 
I've come to speak to you about your attacks against all those who take the road to Hikmet. The Lurians only got what they deserve. They have captured many of our people. We must release them. That's the price of war. If you fight, you risk men being taken prisoner. I'm not talking about warriors, Renaikse, but villagers kidnapped in our villages. They mainly attack on all Menawe, those carrying the mark of the bond like you. They capture them, and we never see them again. We don't know what they are doing to them, but we are going to release them. I see. But our merchants have no role in this. They are not warriors. So why kill them? They brought food and weapons back to our enemies. We could not let them pass. If your merchants had fled, we would not have pursued them. But they resisted, so they do it. The city of Loyans is no longer to receive food or weapons. Nothing. Listen, if what you told me is true, I fully understand why you're fighting. I'm even ready to help you clear up these disappearances, as long as you spare our merchants. You no longer need to worry about it. That was our last attack. Our troops are ready. And soon we will make the Luyan pay for the harm it has brought upon us. What are you talking about? Soon, the Donea Exregal will march together, and we will free our brothers. Can you guarantee that our merchants will now be able to take this road without risking their lives? I always keep to my word. The time for small attacks is over. Now is the time of war. I'm afraid you're heading straight into a massacre. But since you promised me that our caravans will be spared, I have fulfilled my mission. Go in peace. We should prepare ourselves. <laughs>